perfect. Y'all almost knocked over this whole plate. It would have been all over my bed. What up, y'all? It's just Tasha Sweet, but y'all can call me Tasha. If you are new to this channel and you like what you see, hit that like button, subscribe button, comment down below, and join my live streams. And if you had already subscribed, you would have saw my live stream yesterday. We did a 40K celebration. I was on live for about an hour and 25 minutes, and I had a great time. Today, I have leftover spaghetti. I made this spaghetti about two months ago. It's been in my freezer. And then I have some garlic bread, and I'm just going to get down to business. Y'all seen the title. I'm gonna let you know right now that this letter is not to my most recent ex. So if that is all you wanna see, you can leave now. So what I'm gonna do first is ASMR. <laughs> For real, I'm gonna try to do ASMR. I'm really gonna try to be quiet until I'm done eating. Then I'm gonna read my letter.
What's up, y'all? I had to take my car to get brakes today. Um, I needed, I need the front and back brakes. My front brakes are at nothing, paper thin, and my back brakes <clears throat> are at 15%. I have a Honda Accord 2014. I've had this car for many years and I don't think I've ever gotten the brakes fixed. So it's nearly a thousand dollars. I do want to cry, but what can I do? Can't drive around with no brakes, especially if I plan on driving this car around the world, okay? This car is a 2014 and it has 40 some odd thousand miles on it. Nothing. I could probably trade that car in for 10,000. I'm sure. I can get a car right now, but I'm not. I'm not. I told Elijah I was going to give me this car. Maybe I will. I'm about to read my letter. So, this was suggested to me by my therapist. She told me to write letters to people that I want to say things to or that I wanted to say things to, whether I give it to them or not, write the letter. Um, I believe that facing your stressors or facing your trauma does help you um sometimes you you face it without even trying to and for me excuse me <clears throat> everything comes up for me now because i'm trying to heal and so things unconsciously subconsciously i'm sorry come up and it's healing I'm going to read my letter. My letter says, I finally forgive you. Hi, you know, I was in an airplane last month on my way back home from a trip I took. And I thought about what you did to me on my 18th birthday. I cried for a minute, but I couldn't cry long because I didn't want anyone on the plane to see me crying. This was the first time since it happened that I can remember that I even thought about it. I had no idea how much damage was done until I started healing. I'm still healing, by the way. I 
I think that you need to think about things. I was told this by my therapist and I agree. You need to think about things in order to process them and to heal from them. She said, okay, after you, you know, you stopped yourself from crying on the plane, what did you do then? And I was like, well, I just didn't do anything else because I was on the plane. I couldn't cry in front of people. And she was like, so afterwards, did you go start thinking about it again and cry? I said, no, because I think we tend to block things, push them away. So we don't cry. So we aren't sad. But the thing is, we still are. We're not dealing with it, but something may trigger it to come up. Something may trigger you in your entire life. Like... There could be something your child does that triggers you and you act a certain way. Anytime you're triggered, but you may not even know. You may just think that's your personality. No, it's not. I promise you it's not. Because I'm learning things I didn't even know. So my hat coming off. I don't know why. My head is small. That's why. So the very first time you put your hands on me, do you know what bothered me? But I pretty much didn't give it a second thought afterwards. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing it's because I grew up in an abusive home. So maybe the abuse was normal to me or it didn't indicate that I wasn't loved by you. What's crazy is you probably love me less than anyone ever has, but it was hard to get away from you. Actually the hardest, you guys don't know, but that was really the hardest relationship for me to get away from. You know, I was 17, was with her for a year and a half, I guess. And God is the reason, God made me leave. You know, it wasn't even under my control. Um, you know, I feel like being in, you know, the first time I, that person hit me, um, we were walking down the street, me, her, and a friend of ours. And there was this lesbian that was walking also. Um, and I looked at her, but I looked because I'm 17. I'm young. I'm looking around. I'm seeing new lesbians. I'm seeing lesbians. I'm finally seeing, you know, I just started dating so i'm like not completely new because once i started i i was gone i didn't need no training wheels or nothing but you know i'm looking at people just being a human like using my eyes the ones that god gave me and i got slapped in the back of my head pushed up against the wall because of that and i wasn't looking at the person in that way um so you know and i it bothered me that 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 happened but you know i don't i don't i didn't talk about it anymore i didn't say hey why would you do that that's crazy i didn't say any of that and, you know and I blamed her, you know, after a certain amount of time, because the, the relationship was abusive the whole time. You know, I blamed her. Um, but it's not her fault that I was desensitized. It's not her fault that I stayed. Um, now, let me go back. Uh, but it was hard to get away from you, actually the hardest. I mean, I really only ended our relationship because you went to jail and you were gone for months. God did it. I know. He was sick of your bullshit too. I was there for you when no one else was, but didn't realize you were just using me. I knew you were hurting, but it didn't give you the right to do the things you did to me. I was coming out of a violent household. I was feeling rejected by the people who were supposed to take care of me. And I feel like you preyed on me. You knew I didn't know much. You could tell by the way I reacted to your abuse. You knew you could treat me any kind of way, especially after I didn't leave you after the birthday incident. Um, now, there are people who are predators. There are people who are manipulative and they might not even know that they're being that way or may not be that way. On, I'm not gonna make an excuse for anybody. I don't care why you did what you did. I care that you did it. And it's my, and I'm talking to you guys, okay? As if you're me at 17 or whatever age, it's my responsibility to say, no, I'm not gonna let you do these things to me and leave. I cannot blame you for doing what you did to me if I stayed and allowed you to do it. Because there was another 17 year old would have left her. I didn't, another 17 year old would have. Um. There was a time that, you know, she she had went to, I was in school. She went to her ex-girlfriend's house and got beat up bad. Cause she was little. My ex was, you know, she was small, 5'2", small person. Um, and she got into a fight with someone who was six feet, big, burly stud, manly, had been in and out of jail. She got towed up from the flow up. 
And so when I came to her house and saw her face, she asked me, don't go to school. Can you please not go to school tomorrow? You know, stay with me. I said, okay, stay with her. Next day, can you please not go to school? Begging me not to go to school for days. Take me to the hospital, do this, do that. I blamed her for me not finishing school. It wasn't her fault. I chose not to go. Someone else wouldn't have done that. Someone else would have been like, I'm going to school. I'll take care of you when I get home, but I'm going to school. I made that decision. I didn't have to. I was too inexperienced and hurt to understand that you were too damaged to love someone. You didn't even love yourself. No one took care of you like they were supposed to. So you lashed out at the one person who was around and it just happened to be me. It wasn't personal and I understand that now. You were just a hurt person trying to hurt the next person. You never felt safe and looking at your upbringing and family, I understand why now. I'm sorry that your life was so bad and I'm sorry that your life ended so tragically. I'll pray for your children and I hope they're okay. I pray that they never experience what you and I experienced as children and young women. I finally forgive you, not for you, but for me. Wherever you are now, I hope you finally get the opportunity to be loved and cherished the way you should have been when you were a child. So your next time around, you can give the love, you can exhibit the love. I'm sorry, you can exhibit that kind of love to others. May your soul rest in peace. Mic drop. Uh, I was angry at this ex for so long, for so many years. I... I said things like I was happy she was gone. I even did a video on it. I took the video down maybe a year later. Uh, but I felt like she deserved to be gone. I felt like she deserved what happened to her because of the things that she had done to me. But I allowed her to do it. And I have to take accountability because at any moment I could have gotten up and left and my life wouldn't have been the way it was. I wouldn't have had the trauma that I had. I had already had trauma. So then I get into a relationship with somebody who's going to double down on it. But I stayed. Yes, because I was lost, because I was hurt, because I didn't know all that. Yeah. But I'm saying that to say to you, the one who needs to hear me, leave. It's going to get better when you leave. It's going to get better when you leave. And it might hurt in the fucking process for whatever reason. But it's going to get better. Don't allow what this person is doing to you to keep doing it to you you don't have to that's the thing we don't we don't have to no matter what it is we don't have to do it you can choose your own life you can choose to not be with that person you can choose to be a different person if you've been treating somebody a certain way and you feel like oh it's too late for me to treat them different no it's not change today because yesterday is yesterday and tomorrow isn't made as an isn't here yet change today you know and for those of you who wish for those of you who wish to be better do better a wish is simply something that you you can just go get yourself you know we make wishes but oh i wish my husband loved me more oh I, he will leave his motherfucking ass and find a man that will love you more that husband gonna love you more you know or i don't know why my hair keeps sliding another moment sliding oh because i need to wash my hair My hair is so greasy. I'm leaving. Y'all, I got somewhere to go and I need to wash my hair. Look, I don't have the braids no more. My hair is short too. I mean, well, yeah, it's short. It's cut. Look, never mind. Y'all don't care about that. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. I love you. I ain't edited nothing. Bye. Bye.